Hi guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are revisiting a very old drugstore product, as you can see by the thumbnail, and I wanted to give it another try to see if I still liked it in 2023. So if you want to see my thoughts, the application, and all of that, make sure you keep on watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Okay guys, so today's face will be a very simple face. My two primers, Elf Cookies and Dream and Max Studio Fix. I ordered a drugstore foundation from Target the other day and it brought back some fond memories and I wanted to do the look today for work. So this should be nice, quick, and easy. I need to make it easy because this right here is a human hair wig today so I got to put a little bit of curls in it. You know, usually I put on synthetic and I put on the wrong one this morning, so I gotta put on, I gotta throw some loose curls in it. Yeah, I saw it. I'm like, oh, I remember this. <laughs> I remember this. And I'm, I'm breaking out right here. And it's because for the last week, I've been eating eggs for breakfast. I can't eat eggs like that. Like, I can eat eggs like every blue moon but you know it's not a blue moon <laughs> but i can't only eat them every blue moon so i gotta stop eating them and you know i was trying to eat like healthy breakfast I'm like you know eggs is a very healthy breakfast but eggs don't agree with me i don't know why everything healthy does not agree with me oh man and i and i Kept eating them. I'm like, okay, I must be got over that, you know, where eggs break me out. Nope. It's coming. It's coming. I'm going to do just a little bit and I'm going to put it on my finger. I'm not even going to use a brush of my paint pot because, like I said, this is going to be a stick foundation today. So. foundation and this is the one in peachy look I got it everywhere <laughs> I got it everywhere today okay the foundation I'm going to use is the Maybelline fit me shine free plus balance stick foundation and I got it in 355 coconut Hi, y'all remember that, right? Oh gosh, it was four dollars and some change. I was trying to see if it had anything on it, but it don't. Just three fifty-five coconut. Let me take the, the tape off. Yeah, I was. If you saw my community post, I ordered some shirts from Target, like two fall tops, and then I just do this in the cart. You know, it's extra. But those tops feel so soft and smooth, y'all. Like, I got, I ordered two that day, but I got, now I got two more in my shopping cart. I have to get more. Wait a minute. Come on, thing. I have to get more. That's how soft they are. I love a good feeling, good feeling clothes. I don't like anything that's irritating. Okay, it came off. So y'all remember, Maybelline was the first stick foundation I could say I had. The first stick foundation. I don't know what that is in the middle. I guess that's to control the shine, maybe. I don't know. Y'all know I'll never know what I be buying. Ooh, go Maybelline. I'm like, dog, they still sell this? I was amazed. Couldn't believe they still sold it. So let's see. Let's go ahead and buff this in. You know, stick foundations are coming back. Y'all know I love my Thread Beauty skin tint. And I also love my Fenty Beauty, not skin tint, skin stick, foundation stick. And then the Fenty is a skin tint, but to me it's a foundation because of how much coverage it offers. And this right here, mm, 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 mm. we back in business, y'all. 
This is for the quick, very quick days. I think foundation sticks are for quick days. When you don't want to think about anything, you just want to throw on a little makeup. And today is Wednesday, so definitely for sure, this is one of those days that I just need to get out the house. I need to put, I need to get a mirror so I can put it in front of me so I don't have to keep turning that way. How y'all think the coverage is? I think the coverage is nice. What y'all think? Ooh, <laughs> $4? Okay. We back in business. And I also went through my stash. Please tell me I didn't drop it. I don't know where it is. I know it's got to be on the desk. Okay. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I don't know. 40. So I, guess, I think it's 40 caramel. This was another concealer. It was one of my first, you know, little drugstore. One time this Fit Me line was like real popular. It was like everybody wanted to fit me now not so much i still like maybelline i love maybelline yeah i know i love my maybelline lifter glosses with this one i think i'm gonna let it sit for a half a second longer than i normally would just so i can add more coverage because this isn't as pigmented as most my desk back to being its normal self y'all <laughs> it's back to being junky mm -hmm. back to being junky it's fall time. A lot of new makeup is coming out, but I'm the type of person like I never want to forget about the old stuff. Like the old stuff that made me fall in love with makeup, the old stuff that already works for me. You know, I never want to forget about that stuff. And this right here, foundation and concealer, I used to feel like I was the makeup artist of the year when I used this stuff. So it's a good feeling. It brings back good feelings. You know, some makeup you used to use and it was just all wrong. And you're like, mm, what was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> like, this is not my color. It's not blending. I can't blend it with a mixer if I wanted to. That's how hard it is to mix. And then some makeup, just like, oh made you think I finally got it right finally yeah It's a good, it's a good, uh, but not the edges. It's a good highlight shade, as you can see. It's a good highlight shade. Yeah, it's a good highlight shade. But I'm going to add some of my Tarte for a little bit more pop. Just right here. Just, I ain't going to add much. Just a little bit more pop. And we're going to let that sit. I'm going to do a very quick eye look. Might as well keep y'all in. This Juvia Space Mini Palette. I'm going to take that brown shade right there. That's what we're going to put in our crease today. Crease and what I think, transition area. 
sweep it because you know I just say that they gotta be a it has to be a quick look today because I gotta have enough time to throw four big curls in my hair. I was like, how did I pick up this human hair wig? But by the time I got in the bathroom and got going, I'm like, mm -hmm. just go for what you know, Nana. You already got it on now. And put that in the inner part, the crease, the outer V. We're only using two shades today. Y'all know how I do. Something about brown. I would say browns remind you of fall, but I use browns all year long. So browns don't have a particular season for me because me and browns get down. I'm going to take that top dark one, put that in the outer V, darken it just a little bit. And what was I about to do? Blend out the concealer. I let it sit too long. Yeah, now we talking. It's a little bit lighter. Not a lot, but just a little bit lighter. I'm going to use Beauty Bakery today. Caramel flower powder. Blend it first, make sure it's blended. Make sure you got as much of the creases out as you can before you hit it with the powder. Well, we're gonna let that sit for a lovely minute while we finish up the eyeshadow. Nose, size of the nose. Yeah, oh, the nose is itching. <laughs> I want that one. I want this one. Okay, let that sit for a minute. Where's the top? I don't know. No, oh, there it is. I'm going to take the ABH Fall Romance palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Crown. It's the iridescent with multicolors in this one. That one. And that's what we're going to pop on the lid right quick in the middle. Two shadow look. Only because I feel like it got a little green in it. And my top got a little green in it. I love this shade. Go back with your kind of dark shade, blend it out. The lighter brown shade, make sure you get that inner part. So we just wanted the glitter shade to be in the center, really. Just to add a pop of color. 
nothing too drastic <laughs> what you did I did just that I love the shade I really do yeah we done so I set a little bit with my KVD loose translucent powder and I just sprayed it. Wasn't sure if I was supposed to like set with a translucent, a stick foundation. But I don't know. And we already here. Lip primer. I always put this on no matter what. Color pop. And I'm going to take my More Than Coffee Maybelline Ulta Matte Lipstick. Use it as a lip liner. And I'll find a lipstick in a minute. I'm going to try to get a Maybelline lipstick. Yeah. Let's do Cheeky in the vinyl. Only because it's the first one I picked up. <laughs> All right. Spray again. Be right back. All right, guys, made it back. This is the completed look using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick from Target. And I don't know what I did with the concealer. <laughs> but y'all know the, the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Is that it? Yeah. Fit Me Concealer. So, like I said, this was one of my first drugstore stick foundations and probably first drugstore concealer. And that was had to be the early 2000s. <laughs> and now we're in 2023 and this is how the skin is looking. Still lightweight, still natural. So, Maybelline was onto something even back then. Drop down and let me know. I know you probably have tried this uh, product before, but let me know your thoughts on it in 2023 yeah and this was just a quick everyday face i feel like i need to do whatever and i am out of here make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys i probably need some lip gloss i don't mess up my lipstick hmm.